As most of you know, I've been doing a challenge over on Twitch to turn $30 into 30,000 on PokerStars while streaming the whole thing. That challenge started way, way, way back in like 2018. In fact, May 2018. It's taken a little over two years, but we're finally done and I couldn't be happier. So as I know, a lot of you guys are absolute stat nerds. I thought I'd break down how the challenge was completed. Uh, first off, let's look at the main profit graphs. We've got two main parts because we've got tournaments and we've got cash games. So in this cash game graph, we have Fusion Poker, 6 plus Hold'em, regular No Limit Hold'em, Deep Water Hold'em, Swap Hold'em, and I'm sure loads of other games that I've been playing that you've requested for me to play over on Twitch. Uh, I remember playing some Stud and all sorts as well. So yeah. Overall, I won at a win rate of 23.7 big blinds per 100 hands over a sample of 58,794 hands, made $11,574 and paid $7,206 in rake. I think that's pretty good. Really looking at this, I can gather a few things. One, cash games are still a great place to make money. And two, a lot of you guys really like to find excuses and moan about something that just isn't true. Rake in cash games, especially on PokerStars, is still very reasonable. So stop whining about it in poker forums, Discord forums, Twitch chats. Just get better. If you're looking for a place to do that, then please make sure you get into our Discord channel. Link in the description below. Make sure you're active. Ask as many questions as you need to get moving in the right direction. No excuses. Right, next. So for the tournament portion, I actually broke it down into a number of different sections. Sit and goes, spin and goes, spin and go max, and multi-table tournaments. If any of you did come into the many live streams I did on Twitch and asked how would you get that initial $30 up to 500 or 1K, my reply was always the same. Start with sit and goes. In fact, if you're a new player looking to build up a bankroll, go and check out these videos I did with Ava on this YouTube channel. They're a great way to build the bankroll with little variance and set you up to be able to play a multitude of different games later on. Next on the list, we got spinning goes. Well, unsurprisingly, this type went pretty well for me. Before we started OP Poker, this was the game I was playing for a living, so it only makes sense that I did well in it. Spinning goes are really that game type that you can play for pretty much any stakes and have the opportunity, if good enough, to make good money given the bankroll. It's really a good all-rounder option for building the bankroll. If you aren't already aware, we have a low stake spin and go course specifically designed for $5 to $25 limit. We've got over 20 preflop charts on how to play almost every situation and more than 10 videos on post-flop play from every position, how to adjust and exploit and how to learn once you've internalized it all. You can find that over on our website, link down in the description. Now let's look at the spin max. This was the real time waster of the challenge. I really like the game format and I'm pretty sure you can get a respectable win rate from it. But man, the variance is insane. The first 2000 games playing $7 and $15 games, I managed to lose 350 buy-ins. Yeah, you heard me right, 350 buy-ins. Anyway, I'm not the type of person that takes failure well, so I played it out till I got into the plus. Not sure if I continue playing Spin Max in the future. I might have to find peace in the fact I'm now up in it lifetime. Maybe not. We'll see. Last on the list, we got MTTs. Good old Donkerments. I've never been much of a Donkerment player before this challenge. Almost all of my lifetime players, in fact, been in cash games and spinning goes. But I wanted to keep challenging myself, and I thought it was about time to at least try them. Well, the results generally speak for themselves. I made over $20 for every tournament played. So you'd guess, given how well it went, that I'd want to keep playing them. I'd say the answer is maybe. If you know with MTTs, the variance is very high, just like in Spin and Go Maxes. It's just not something that I really enjoy playing. Maybe I'll keep playing some of the bigger events during live streams, but I probably won't do, be doing full MTT sessions anytime soon. I'd really like to give a big thank you to the Twitch chat for keeping me company and encouraging me all throughout the challenge. I really had a number of big downswings along the way, so I probably wouldn't have continued without your support. So really, seriously guys, thank you. It means a lot. Overall, I really enjoyed the challenge. 
Uh, I think this is not the last one. Uh, I'm going to be sitting down in the lab deciding what to do next. I've got a few really cool ideas. If you want to hit the subscribe button, I'll be back on next week to decide what to do next. But yeah, the challenges aren't done on OP Poker and uh, I'll see you next week.